Witches was directed by Robert Zemex. It stars Anne Hathaway, Octavia Spencer. It was narrated by the annoying Chris Rock. And it's a Warner Brothers picture. So I'm typically not a kids movie fan, but I will admit that the only reason I watch this is because Anne Hathaway. I am a fan of hers, so I pretty much watch anything she's in. The problem with this movie is the direction. And it kind of sucks because Robert Zemeckis is a great director. You know, he did Back to the Future, Castaway, Flight with Denzel Washington. Anytime that something's going on, they have Chris Rock, which I'm not a fan of. And when he's narrating the movie, he tells you what's going to happen before it happens. He'll be like, so the mice find the potion, and then they make their way up into the air ducts to crawl down into the kitchen to find a way to distract the chefs so they can get into the hallway where the potion is. And then right after he says that, it shows all of that stuff happening. And I just hated that. They do that the whole movie. They just kind of talk to you like you're dumb. Anne Hathaway, on the other hand, you can tell she's having a lot of fun with this role. She actually did a good job with her accent. I thought it really portrayed her as a witch and it gave her character flavor. Octavia Spencer did a great job as well. The makeup on the witches looked really good. It really went away from the old one because I know the old one, they looked very gross and like just melted. This one was more of a classy, like, pretty witch stuff, but they had, like, disfigurements, and they only had, like, three fingers, and when they smiled, they had sharp teeth, and their smile would go all the way up to, like, their ears. But the movie was just boring. It talked to you like you're stupid. It didn't go anywhere. There was no flow to it. Unless you're a fan of the original or you're watching with your kids, I just don't see adults really engaging into this. And, uh, and I mainly blame the writing on that. The plot's pretty basic. It's just like, hey, uh, Anne Hathaway's character's like, hey, we're going to meet up in this hotel. I'm going to tell you about my devious plan. And then we're going to follow through with it. Then they run into the problem with the kids and the mice. And then it's just kind of like a drama adventure. And I just thought the pacing was a little boring. But I'm not in any way saying this movie is horrible. I just personally feel like it's pretty mediocre. And it's not worth the $20 price tag it has on it. I'm going to grade the witches a C-. minus. <laughs> Now before I go, I want to talk about the controversy behind this movie, and if you're wondering what that is, recently Anne Hathaway was being attacked by people saying that they were offended that the witches only had three fingers, that she was mocking and making fun of disfigured people. People with disfigurements were pissed, and they were attacking her all over the place, and I think that's very tasteless of them and dumb, because first off, this is a movie. It's meant to entertain people. The old one, they were way more disfigured. You're not bitching about that. Third, that's not her intentions. She's an actress. She's playing a character. She's playing a witch. Is, the, is a witch supposed to be some blonde with triple D's and be wearing a tight, skin-tight dress? She's supposed to have some sort of disfigurement to show that she's a bad character. She's a witch. You know, it's like me getting offended and being like, well, I think Santa being fat is offensive to obese people. He should be really thin. I think it's offensive that a leprechaun is a dwarf. I think the leprechaun should be 6'5". Is this where we're going with movies now? Being offended by everything? Like, it's annoying because Anne Hathaway was so kind. She's like, look, I apologize. I wrote a statement of apology. I don't think she should have had to do that. She's playing a movie character. It's not like she's like, you know what? Um, I'll agree to this movie only if you give me three fingers because I want to mock people with disfigurements. I'm not going to sign unless you do. Look, if you're this offended by everything and you're going to complain about every movie, paint a fucking white wall and then watch it dry. Because if you keep doing this, movies are going to start to turn into wet, diarrhea, fucking trash garbage. Movies will be about as entertaining as teaching math to a fucking wet log. So in closing, I feel bad that she had to apologize. She had nothing to apologize for. I don't see people bitching about American Horror Story Circus. That show came out a few years ago. It had disfigured people in it, and it was about a circus. Are all circus people freaks? I don't hear them complaining. So I just wanted to mention that before I went. I got more reviews coming up for you guys. My next review I'm going to be doing is going to be posted next week. So I appreciate you tuning in. And please, guys, let's just enjoy the movies again.